I'm going to make lithium react with water and with air. Since it comes sealed with argon and I don't have argon, I'm going to keep it in this jar with mineral oil. Look, here is the lithium. Look how it shines. If we put it in contact with the air, it will lose its shine. I'm going to put three of them here. and the rest into the oil. See how they float. I will fill it as much as I can. After one minute, no shine very low density. Now I'm going to add some water. Lithium reacts with water to give lithium hydroxide and hydrogen. Since the reaction sprays dissolve lithium hydroxide, you have to be careful. The reaction is exothermic, the water has warmed up. I'm going to cut a piece so you can see how fast it oxidizes in contact with the air. If I sand the surface, the same thing happens. I'm going to make react the lithium with water in this ketosato and then I will burn the hydrogen. I'm going to start with this small piece. The hydrogen was mixed with oxygen from the air and exploded. Fortunately, the ketosato is a very thick flask and the stopper was loose. I'm going to repeat it, but adding CO2. And there we have it. And now I'm just going to put the solution in this crystallizer, so that it evaporates and crystallizes. In order to get lithium hydroxide, the evaporation must be in vacuum or at least in a closed desiccator. While open, we'll end having lithium carbonate because of the CO2 in the air.